Hi everyone, welcome to another IHSA health and safety video. I'm Steph Mainville and today we're going to be talking about guardrails, inspections, specification. If a hazard cannot be eliminated, guardrails are the first method of protection to consider when a fall hazard exists. This is described in the construction regulation section 26.1 and 26.3. Now, a worker must be protected by a guardrail system if the worker faces a hazard of falling more than three meters, more than 1.2 meter if the work area is used as a path for a wheelbarrow or similar equipment, into operating machinery, onto water or another liquid, onto or into a hazardous substance or object, and through the opening of a work surface. A guardrail system meeting regulated requirements must be used if a worker has access to the unprotected edge of any of the following work surfaces and is exposed to a fall of 2.4 meters or 8 feet or more. A floor including the floor of a mezzanine or balcony, surface of a bridge, roof while formwork is in place, a scaffold platform or other work platform, runway or ramp. Here are some guardrail specifications. Every guardrail must have a top, an intermediate and a tow board. Now, the top rail must be above the surface, 0 0.9 to 1.1 meters. Intermediate rail must be between the top and the tow board. And the tow board needs to be at least 89 millimeters off the floor. And the guardrail can't be installed any further than 300 millimeters from the edge. Now in section 26.3 describes the load requirements of a guardrail. Now remember that this must be able to support a, a potential fallen worker. So the specification, the requirements say that the top rail must have at least 152 pound force pushing out and 101 downwards. If we get into the intermediate rail, it's 101 out, 101 down, and the tow board 15 and a half pound force pushing outwards. Now here are some uh, additional wooden guardrail specifications. So the wood needs to be spruce, pine, or fir in the construction grade. The wood needs to be free of splinters, knots, any protruding nails. It needs to be constructed of at least two by fours. And must be able to uh, resist all loads to which any uh, worker may be subjected to can be fastened by appropriate nails or screws, typically three inches. And the vertical posts can't have a span any wider than 2.4 meters without bracing. Must be a continuous span with no splices. I'm Steph Mainville with IHSA. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check our website at ihsa.ca and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more safety videos.